So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to transcribe uh, the video here. Uh, we're going to use Azure Sub as a transcription tool. It is also at the same time, what's nice about this is at the same time, it's going to sync uh, the audio and time it as well. So let me show you how to do that. So I've launched up Azure Sub. This happens to be on a Mac. It should look the same on a PC and on the Linux system. And the first thing I need to do is, is load up my video. So I'm going to open my video. And I'm just going to pick this as an example. Now this is fairly large in terms of screen real estate. And um, while I do suggest that you do um, descriptors in your video, like when music plays, you type in music, um, I don't need the video to be this large. So I'm going to minimize this down to uh, 25%. What I really need is I need to really see the audio. So under the audio file, I c I'm going to open audio from video. And what this is, does is it opens up the video file and extracts the audio out of it. So let me play you a section here. This is a waveform monitor uh, of the actual audio itself. And um, I can use these zoom controls to zoom in or zoom out. And those will become, as you get more need to get more accurate with your transcription, those will become really important. And I can also decrease and increase the uh, waveform to fit. Uh, sometimes it's good to see it like this. Sometimes it's real good to get in there and zoom in like that and sort of enlarge it. So you'll use these um, transport, I mean, you use these controls, these zoom controls are quite, uh, not quite a bit, but once you've kind of figured out what works for you, you'll, you'll go from there. You can see that this is a big long section. I, if I play it. You can hear it, it's music. And I can even play this little section. Notice I just grabbed and dragged. I clicked and dragged. So that's all music. Um, so if I want to um, bring this whole section and just tell as you sub that this whole section is music, notice what I did. I grabbed the left and right. So that's the end point. And then this was the beginning point right over here. And um, and I want to just tell as you sub that uh, this whole section. And, and notice when I I change this. Notice what happens down here. Start now is at one second, point uh, two one milliseconds, uh, and so this starts at zero and ends at a six thirty two, and it's all music. So I can just come in here into my um, my section, my text section, and uh, put bracket. So this is a descriptor, music bracket. And anytime you're describing anything like music or any on-screen movement that's important to your video, um, and you got to think about it in terms of uh, primarily people who don't have their vision. Uh, I mean, don't have their audio, their hearing, um, then uh, you put it in brackets, and uh, oftentimes caps are used uh, to distinguish uh, a an action from uh, someone's speech. So here is music, and you can see that it comes in here. And if I now, what I have to do is I have to tell as you sub that I'm ready to move to the next line, effectively, but the next piece of text. And so you see this little check mark. If I click yes, click that check mark, what happens is a lot of things happen. I'm gonna click it. It advanced to the next part of the video, and notice that it advanced up here to my video. Um, it gave me a three seconds from my 6.3 to my 9.3, and you can see that down 6.3 to 9.3, and is waiting for the next one. Now, um, what I can do here is I can just sort of extend this out a little bit and extend this over here, and then let me hit play. Let's set up the Nexus 10. Okay, so it says let's set up the Nexus 10. And I click OK, and boom, it jumps me to the next section. You can see I've got a little bit of dead space here. I'm going to slide that over and just slide that uh, the end over here. And if I want to bring, wh what's really nice about this is, um, if I don't want to bring it in like that, and let me just play this. The first thing I'm going to do is over here. The first thing I'm All right, so the first thing. I am going, whoops, I am going to do, I just want to make sure that's at the end, that's what going to do is there, and so this is the lead in time and lead out time. Over here, over here, over here. The first thing I'm going to do is over here. The first thing I'm going to do is over here. So. Um, now I know that it's complete. I can hit uh, accept. So I've, I've, I'm starting to not only caption my file, but I'm also at the same time marking and timing it and syncing it as well. So I'm going to continue all the way through. So let's say I continue all the way through to the end of the file. Um, now, and I won't do that for the sake of this video, what I want to do now is I'm going to save my Azure sub file and then export it as a SRT file or a subrip file. 
So to save my file, I'm just going to come in here, and it's pretty straight, straightforward. Saves uh, subtitle, and uh, it's ASS is the uh, subtitle file. I'm going to come in here under um, closed caption videos, as you sub files, and then this is transcription. And I'm going to save it as an ASS. And so I've now saved it. I can pull it up later. It'll bring back the video. It'll bring back the audio um, if I want to. And I can always make tweaks later.